So I think the country needs us. And I know there are people from Brazil here and from Canada. I think your countries have spent time in both countries. Your countries need you as much as we need the rest of us here in this country. I think there's a vacuum in our country right now. I think there are lots of Americans who want to re-engage and reconnect. As I travel across the country wherever I go, there is a deep yearning among many of us. Not all of us, but many of us to come back into the public square. I think even the Tea Party and the Occupy movements represent some of that. People wanting to come back in and trying to find a way back in, and this is the only way so far they've been able to find a way back in. But as I talk to folks from those two movements and from Americans all across the country and Brazilians and Canadians, it's really clear to me that there is among us a deep yearning to come back into the public square. The problem is that there's a vacuum in that public square. There's a hole in it where no one's in it, where very few of us are in it. And for me, the question is, I think that those of us in this room, if we're willing to go into that vacuum, we can position ourselves to be more relevant and significant in the life of our communities, and even maybe raise some more money. That if we're willing to take the risks of going into that space, that vacuum, that our work can become more impactful in the community. But to go into that space will require certain things from us. And let me say one other thing. It will require certain things from us. Simply going in with the way at least a lot of us have been working typically, I've talked to a lot of you before we started today. So I won't speak for your own organizations, but just for what I see across the country. If we insist on going into that vacuum and trying to fill it with the ways we do, have been doing business in this country, no one will listen to us. They will become increasingly cynical about us. Our support will continue to drop or stagnate. We will not be seen as a relevant and significant player in the life of our communities. I think the only way we can go into this vacuum is if we're willing to be authentic, real with people. I think the space is wide open for authentic organizations, not kumbaya organizations. I don't believe in those. Because I think there's a fight on our hands about how we're going to create a better society for all Americans. But I think for those of us who want to fill this void, this vacuum, we have to be willing to say we will be authentic in what we do. We have to be willing to say that we have a job of creating public will in our communities, that we'll focus on issues that really matter to people, that we won't try to snow people with our public relations, but we'll communicate, communicate genuinely and authentically about what we know and what we don't know and where we still need to go. I think those of us who are willing to jump into that space, into that vacuum, we can own it. Not for ourselves, but for the betterment of our communities and for the benefit of our communities. And we will benefit ourselves from that. 